I'm trying to make some YouTube videos again. So in this video, we're going to uh, put this coolant hose on the uh, goes from the water pump to the radiator on the black Jeep. This one, we're going to uh, do this car scent thing, put some of these in it. And then I'm going to walk around the Wrangler and put a sticker on it. Just a nice little video, something to do. They're gonna sweep the Jeep, Jeep out as I uh, get that coolant hose on. Sweep that all out. And then this coolant hose is pretty simple to do. Just two clamps, it's this one right here. Goes to the radiator. Somebody's already messed up it before because it has those, uh, just not the regular clamps on them, the ones that you can buy. And then it goes to the water pump. So I'm gonna take those clamps off and then put the new hose on it. Hopefully that's what's leaking. I think it is, but if it isn't, you guys will know it because there'll be another video soon on doing the water pump because it's one of the two, but I'm hoping it's the hose. So let's get to that. Got that uh, hose off. Like I said, it was just the two clamps. That's the new one, exact the same. I'm probably gonna slide that thing over that new one, throw it on. Truck's getting vacuumed right now, so that's all good. But we kind of iffy on if this is the problem or not. Hopefully it is, but if it's not, water pump's easy enough. But yeah, let's get this new hose on. I'm gonna uh, put the new hose on now. Just gotta sneak it down there, put that this end on the uh, water pump, and then I gotta put this end on the radiator and tighten it down. It should be good. New hose on, clamps all tight. Just gonna put water in it for now in case it is the water pump. And uh, see if it leaks, if it doesn't leak and it's good to go now. I'll drain this before winter. Flush it all out, put antifreeze in it. But yeah, go and put some water in it, start it up, see if it leaks. So like, you can hear the uh, water pump throwing. I think that's what that is. So it might is the water pump, most likely. But the hose is on, clamps are tight. It doesn't seem to be leaking right now, but it's filled up, so if it goes low again, we'll find we'll know if that's the water pump or if we see it leaking still. So if it is, it is. We'll just change it out. I think we should keep it out too. But now we're gonna get ready to do the uh, smell good stuff to the interior. It's all vacuumed out. All vacuumed. Looks good. So, we'll set that stuff up, do that, and then I'll do a walk around the Wrangler and all that good stuff. So now we're gonna do this. We just gotta start it, put the air conditioner on, let it run on high, the air conditioner, leave it set for 15 minutes, put it on the center console. So this is what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna sit right there. Start this bad boy. The air conditioner actually works in this. Believe it or not. All windows are shut. Air is on. Full circulating. I don't know how to get this thing to stay. There it goes. Now I'm going to shut this door. Now I'm going to let that sit for 15 minutes. But while we do that, we're going to walk back to the uh, Wrangler. So this is the uh, 2000 Wrangler I have on 35s. I have half doors for it, uh, top's good. Not a bad little Jeep. A lot of work should be done to this one. So that's why it's not gonna be on here that much time saving money for parts. But pretty much just tires and lights right now where to come. 4.0 inline six, five speed. Not a bad little Jeep, but we're gonna put a uh, rough country stick on the windshield because you know why not? It has this cool little uh, if I can get a turn on speedometer thing. It's pretty cool. The jewel just turns on and off. Doesn't sound too bad. A little bit of a tick. I'm not sure. It could be throw out bearing. 
But yeah, I'm gonna uh, clean the windshield off up there and then get this rough country stick on like and then to the other Jeep and see what it smells like. Well, I'll see what it smells like. You guys will see what I think. <laughs> but thanks for watching. There we go. Got the sticker. Uh, I like it. Some people probably won't, but I like it. That's all that matters. So, yeah. Off, she's going to go back into the garage. Just get stored in there. Till it's ready to be fixed. You guys will see what it needs when the time comes. But, until then, we're just going to store it away. So, uh, yep, the bomb's done. Back to this Jeep. I shut it off. Just gonna let it air out now. I'm gonna wait to put these into, like, this scent kind of goes away a little bit. But there's that. So that's a wrap to this video. But this is my 92 XJ with the foil inline six. It's five speed, two door. Kind of cool. And I also got uh, this Civic which I crashed. It's on the channel too a little bit, but there's not much mini videos on it. Maybe just one. Uh, I'm going to be fixing this soon. So keep an eye out for that. But yeah, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like and comment. Let me know what I can do better trying to get into this YouTube thing. But thanks guys.